Hello and Academies, this is me Vignesh and P and I'm here to present the fifth lesson on morphology of flowering plants of class 11th biology. And my name is Vignesh and P and teaching is my passion. You can follow me at an academy by hitting the link below. So what is morphology? Morphology is the external structure. Angiosperms or the flowering plants exhibit enormous variation in morphology and that's what we are about to learn in this chapter. The underground part of a plant is known as the root system and the above part is called the shoot system. First of all we learn about the root system. The root system is either tap root just like this or fibrous root like this generally dicot plants have tap roots and monocot plants have fibrous roots and this is the different region of root tips that i have given here roots get modified for storage of food respiration and mechanical support and these are the different root modifications like carrot now we will learn about the stem. Stem is a part of the shoot system and the shoot system is divided into stem, leaves, flowers and fruit. The region where leaves are born are called nodes, that is this part and the and internodes are the portion between two nodes. Okay, These are the nodes and this is the internode. Stem also gets modified to perform different functions such as storage, vegetative propagation and protection and protection like this, thorns. The leaf. Lateral outgrowth of stem developed exogenously at the node. That is how you can define the leaf. It is a lateral outgrowth. It consists of three main parts. This is the leaf base, okay, petiole, that is this part. And it helps hold the blade to light. Lamina is the green expanded part of leaf with veins and veinlets. Arrangement of these veins and veinlets is known as venation. This network type of venation is known as reticulate venation which is this one. And the other type where the veins go parallel is known as parallel venation. Leaves also get modified into tendril spines for protection and climbing. And this is one of the modifications. Now we will learn about the flower. The flower is a modified shoot meant for sexual reproduction. Okay. Flower has mainly four floral holes. That is calyx, corolla, andrisium and gynecium. Calyx is the outermost hole and consists of sepals which protect the flower in the bud stage. Corolla consists of petals which attracts insects for pollination. Andrisium is composed of stamens and stamen is the male reproductive organ and consists of a filament and an anther which you can see in this figure. Gynesium is the female reproductive part and consists of carpels or pistil. A carpel consists of three parts, style, stigma and ovary. Please learn this figure in detail. Okay. Now we move on to the fruit and the seed. After fertilization, ovary is converted into fruits and ovules develop into the seed, which you have talked about earlier also. Now this fruit consists of a pericarp and a seed and the pericarp consists of endocarp, mesocarp and exocarp. The seed is made up of seed coat and an embryo and it, and the, and it has endosperm in it. You can learn in detail from this figure. Now the homework for this chapter is learn in detail about the different parts of flower Okay, different parts of flower, flower, please learn in detail, it's very important. Learn about the structure of dicot and monocot seeds 
and just give a fast read on the semi technical description of a typical flowering plant which is given in the last page of ncrt textbook in this chapter so please go through that uh, and please rate review and recommend my courses so that we can carry on this education revolution on an, an academy thank you thank you all